Outlander Season 6 promises to be an epic watch with some big twists and turns but will fans be seeing one character exiting the Stars series? Time-traveling drama series Outlander will be coming back for Season 6, however, a question mark remains over when filming could be starting. Nevertheless, the scripts are in the works and are expected to take audiences on a thrilling ride. But could the new series see the departure of some character? Will Joe Casta Cameron make a shocking exit? Outlander Season 6 will be an adaptation of the corresponding Diana Gabaldon novel A Breath of Snow and Ashes. Showrunner Matthew B. Roberts told Deadline earlier this year right now, Season 6 covers Book 6. Roberts did, however, suggest the writers could be looking at other content from Gabaldon's novels when putting the scripts together. He said, but, as in seasons past, we always look ahead and behind to see if there's any way to add in something we've missed or bring up a future bit that may be appropriate to the upcoming season. Roberts went on to say, it's an ongoing discussion, but nothing is set in stone as of yet. It's amazing how the passion of the audience for these characters and this story has grown over the seasons, we would love to find a way to continue to reward the loyalty of our fans. From his words. The show could be returning to its novel roots after season 5 had quite a few diversions with the inclusion of storylines from An Echo in the Bone and A Breath of Snow and Ashes. One of the big storylines in A Breath of Snow and Ashes sees Joe Casta Cameron, played by Maria Doyle Kennedy, making a swift exit from the new world when things get icy. In the novel, Joe Casta takes her leave of River Run with her fourth husband Duncan Innes, Alistair Findlay. Season 5 saw Joe Casta and Duncan tie the knot after she bid farewell to her secret lover Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, Duncan Lacroix. A Breath of Snow and Ashes will see Joe Casta thrown into a dire financial situation which sees people turning on her. She and Duncan will flee Nova Scotia, Canada when they find their position at River Run no longer tenable. In the TV series, Joe Casta's storyline has deviated from the source material with her romance with Myrtal but his death appears to have put things back on track and realigned with the books. However, there could be some big moments involving Joe Casta before she bows out of Outlander. In the novel, Joe Casta holds a disastrous barbecue where long-held secrets come spilling out including Duncan's infidelity with slave Phaedra, Natalie Simpson. Additionally, it's revealed Fader was the result of Hector Cameron's affair with one of his slaves on the River Run estate. How this will play out in the TV series remains to be seen, but it looks like Joe Casta could go out with a bang. Earlier this year, actress Doyle Kennedy opened up about Joe Casta rejecting Murtaugh, telling Entertainment Weekly, I told him ages ago that Duncan had proposed. And he didn't say anything other than, Oh, I won't stand in the way if you're happy. What? So, she knows that he loves her, but that he will literally lose everything for what he believes in, including her. Including their love. She will always come second to his cause. And she just can't go through it again. That constant danger. The Irish star reflected on Joe Casta's fourth marriage, explaining it was for companionship more than anything else. Doyle Kennedy explained, Jamie has moved on to Fraser's Ridge. She thought maybe he would come and stay with me. But he moved on to make his life. Joe Casta is getting older, she doesn't want to be alone. I also think there's a huge, constant line that she has to walk, in terms of maintaining her own power over her own dominion. She's a woman. You see it a little bit in the last season that, any minute, the other local plantation owners could overturn what she's done. It's a measure of her acumen, and her powers of diplomacy that she's managed to hold on to the estate after her husband's death. Because women were not in a position of power like that at all. Having to determine her authority and maintain it, to write it all out, is exhausting. I think she feels that if she had a husband, that that would legitimize her. She could tell him what to do, he would do it, and it would be accepted more quickly.